High Court Judge Lawrence Mugambi has declined to stop a petition seeking to block the planned opposition-led protests scheduled for Wednesday to Friday. In his ruling, the judge directed the petitioners to instead serve the respondents with a petition within three days and the respondents give a response in ten days. The matter filed under a certificate of urgency will now have to wait a little longer after the judge set the mentioned date two months from now. More details in the skills of Justice segment. In a fresh twist by a Kenyan by the name Martin Gitao had filed a petition to stop the planned demonstration by the opposition. In his petition, Gitao, through his lawyer Adrian Kamodo, argued the demonstrations were negatively affecting the economy and paralyzing emergency services. <laughs> Additionally, he had sought to have the court bar Zimio allied parties from assessing funds from the political parties fund kitty. However, Justice Lawrence Mugambi ruled the matter will come up for mentioning on 21st September 2023, two months from now. He ordered the petitioners to serve the respondents with the documents pending the start of the case. <laughs> Separately, these were the scenes outside Milimani Law Court following the acquittal of televangelist Gilbert Dea, who has been battling a child theft case for almost two decades. Dea of the alleged Miracle Baby scandal was set free in all the five counts of child theft after the prosecution failed to prove its case. Number two, the fact that the accused traveled frequently into the country does not necessarily infer that they had come to steal the subject children or abate crime. So that even if he went to his house upon coming in the country, that is not the basis to infer that they knew the children were in the house. He says he has forgiven his tormentors. For he has no, uh, uh, he has no scobos with anybody. In fact, from what he has shared with me, he has forgiven his perpetrators. I am not a criminal person. I'm born again, spiritual field, and believe in Jesus Christ. In all the days of my life, I will serve God. <laughs> Elsewhere, three witnesses in the murder case of Sharon Otino and her unborn child took to the stand. During cross-examination by Obado's lawyers, the second witness, an airtel attendant, appeared to face difficulties in remembering events. But how much money were you given? Okay, I was given... 1500 for transport. You know you're a hustler. You said you're a hustler. 4500, you came to live in court, right? And there was a light moment in the courtroom as the third witness, Kennedy Onyango Kasera, gave graphical details of the events on the fateful day. The casket of Shiro, now what were the pitas? One of the rockers. I said, I'm back in a moment. The case continues on Tuesday. Migori Governor Okozo Bado is personal assistant Michael Oyamo and Caspi Lobiero are facing murder charges in the case. From Milimani Locots, I'm Ruth Wamboy. <laughs>